Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and reporting in for Wazoo Survival Gear and today we're going to be taking the new Mountaineer bracelet and we're going to be breaking it down and showing you some of the cool tools. So, stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're going to be doing a full test and review of the brand new Mountaineer. Now. This is the way it looks when it comes straight out of the package. This is very straightforward packaging coming from us here at Wazoo Survival Gear, showing off the 14 tools that you get built into this very simple, sleek, profiled, minimalist style bracelet. So once you've kind of molded it and bended it to your wrist, this is kind of how it looks. And this is my personal one that uh, we won't be taking apart, but we're gonna be uh, taking the guts out of this thing and really showing you the tools that you actually get in the Mountaineer, but also how well all these tools work. Without taking any components apart, we actually have quite a few tools ready and available for us um, for ready access if we need them in an emergency. We have our Ranger bands right here, which are good for strapping things down, holding things together. However, in an absolute emergency, they make incredible fire tinder. Now, to further uh, antiquate on this point, we also have fat packs on either side which are basically small cotton rounds that have been rolled up in a very strategic fashion and they are actually filled with a analgesic kind of antibiotic properties. So if you unroll these and you need these in a first aid situation, you actually have them for first aid to um, clean off any wounds or small cuts you may get before you uh, bandage them up with either a band-aid from a first aid kit or like duct tape, something like that but also they are make excellent fire tinder as the solution inside the cotton is actually very flammable, which will buy you between 30 to 45 seconds to build your fire. Now, if you want to reference one of our other videos, which is how to build a sustainable fire, we can show you how to use the burnable business card in lieu with the fat pack to build a much better fire. Without traveling any farther, we have the retro reflector right here, which will be good to have some visualization at night which what that means is if you have a search party looking for you or a loved one and they have this bracelet on, they can point this retro reflector in the direction of the, where the flashlights are pointing and this will beam back at them in a very strategic fashion by waving it like this at that flashlight and hopefully they will be able to see that light bouncing back at them so they can hone in on your location quickly. Now without really going any farther we also have a very loud whistle that will be good for I believe almost 100 decibels. We have a mini ferro rod that strikes really good sparks and without even taking the ceramic striking blade off you can use this to actually hone in on your sparks and get a lot of good sparks very quick. However this blade is actually removable which is really really nice and the beautiful thing about ceramic it is actually will outlast even the strongest steel bits for any use for slicing and cutting and it will stay sharp as long as it does not get damaged or fragmented and we've had this particular striker for several months now and it still has that 90 degree spine which is needed for striking on the ferro rod it works really 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 well very happy with the use and performance of ceramic overall but the beauty of it is it's minimal size and minimal light weight yet extraordinarily high resilience and on the back end of the firestorm buckle we actually have this signal mirror which is perfect in the daylight for signaling the same way the retro reflector works but you actually use the power of the sun and angling directionally to point this at your target and hopefully with a bright sunny day you can use this to signal for help visually so you have nighttime signaling you have auditory signaling and you also have daytime signaling three uses to signal for help in an emergency without even taking the bracelet apart and we went ahead and took the liberty of taking the ranger bands and the fat packs and the ceramic plate off the bracelet. Now we're going to be looking, as you'll see, there is the end of this surgical tubing right here. The end of the surgical tube right there. And we can take the ceramic knife and actually help push these things through so we have better access to take the surgical tubing off if we need it. So we're this part of the dismantling of the bracelet. We now have the surgical tubing removed from the bracelet and this is more or less what it looks like before we start taking it apart. As you can see, we actually get a good hit of surgical tubing that can be used for a tourniquet, it can be used for a slingshot if it need be. There's just a variety of uses you can use. Also because of the fact 
that it is a very small hole. We could use this as a drinking straw for a solar still if absolutely necessary. Now, just as we did as before, these are the two ends of the paracord bracelet, and we're gonna wanna push these through so we can start unraveling to get to the contents inside. Now that we have the paracord completely unraveled, you will see we have a good 10 feet of usable paracord. It is connected right here at the strand, so keep it that in mind with the two-tone color bracelets. Doesn't matter if you make any bracelets yourself through our DIY kits or you do them themselves, you will run into a situation where you will need to splice. So if you want the strongest variant of paracord, go with a single color. And you'll see we have these weatherproof wrapped seal, uh, sealable tubes, which holds the stainless steel wire saw in here. And we have the fishing line, the hooks, the magnetized needle, and everything else buried right in here just nicely. So if you run into a situation where you live in a high humidity, a high corrosive environment where metals are just not your friend, and they will corrode on you. Having these weather sealed are very, very important to make sure that you have them, they're ready, and they'll work properly when you need them. Now that we have all the components laid out, we have the paracord, we have our Firestorm buckle with all the components that we mentioned before. We have the first aid tender, which is good, like I said, for first aid. It is also good for fire starting if you need to. We have this wire saw. Now this wire saw is very handy to be used, and once it's stretched out, you can use the wire saw to cut off some branches and build yourself a primitive bow saw. And what that will allow you to do is actually process bigger pieces of wood, like very large branches, small trees, anything like that. So you can work on shelter building, starting a very substantial, more sustainable fire. Just having a ability to process wood out in the emer in emergency in the wilderness is extremely important. Now, as we move on, we have a magnetized needle and if you actually stick a piece of wax paper or a leaf and you stick it in a tin of water, this will actually give you magnetic north, which will help you in lieu of a compass. And we can take some of the compasses from Wazoo Survival Gear and actually test it and test that theory to make sure it does in fact face north. Also, in addition, we get these two fishing hooks that we can use in conjunction with the 12 feet of fishing line right here, which will be good for a small fishing kit. We could build a small hand line out of it. And the tube that the fishing line and the hooks came in, it can be doubled as a drinking straw if need be in an emergency. So we're gonna be using the ceramic blade. And all I did was take the ceramic blade when it is inserted into the holster like this, but to give myself a little more articulation in the, in the hand, just kind of shove it down in here a little bit and this will give me an easier access to actually use this without having to kind of lose grip. So we're gonna use this ceramic blade to cut a sliver open so we can remove the fat pack. And that'll help us get in there so we can mess with the tinder. And that'll help you get through there. But then we're gonna use this as a means to cut the ranger band open. So as you can see, it's not razor sharp, but it is a very useful blade to cut small things to be able to access things like your tender, be able to break down a ranger band, anything like that you need in a emergency situation. All right, now that we have the fat pack all nice and fluffed up, we're going to use this to start a fire with our firestorm buckle and hopefully get you a fire here just in a minute. And we can use that as a cage. And this will give us a longer burn time while we're waiting to get our tinder ready to go because like I said, ranger bands are very, very flammable. Now the next test we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this magnetic needle uh, the magnetized needle and we're going to put it use this leaf and a bottle of water to figure out where we are now if you take this leaf and put it in a fluid body of water and then you set the magnetized needle on top of it it will eventually face north Now the purpose of having a magnetized needle 
uh, is to give yourself a bearing if you don't have a compass. And it's decently accurate, it's not going to be identical and perfect, but it gives you a generalized direction. Now in addition to that, you can use that for tent repair, shelter repair, clothing repair. If you don't need to worry about fishing, because let's say you can get trapping done, you can use the fishing line plus that to get your sutures if you need to. And you can also use this for a variety of different reasons in a survival situation. Now if you're out in the woods by yourself, what you would want to do is saw that in a wedge so it'll fall over naturally and it would naturally want to fall over for you so you, if you didn't have someone else to do it with you, it'll work. Oh, I heard a pop. Mm -hmm. Ember! All right, now what you can see right here is the that little dot off in the distance is the retro reflector from the Mountaineer. When you turn it off, that goes away, and all of a sudden now we can see that little dot again. Now keep in mind that the retro reflector will be only as visible as far as your flashlight can throw. So if you are really, really far away, that retro reflector will only be good for the maximum throw of your flashlight. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that test footage as much fun as we had actually taking the Mountaineer bracelet, the components apart, going over um, the different components and what they can be used for and actually taking them outside and using them. Um, the thing I can say I like the most about the components of the everything that comes from Wazoo Survival Gear are the fact that they are thoroughly Q&A tested and QC tested to make sure everything works as it's supposed to not only in the short term but in the medium and long term also if you guys ever have any issues with any of the components of a bracelet or you ever have any bracelet malfunctions um, Wazoo does stand behind their products 100% so all you gotta do is contact them on any social media platform or by email through their website and you'll be good to go Although uh, we'll work on repairs, bra uh, bracelet repair if they need to, replacement if if it uh, absolutely has to, but something like uh, let's say for whatever reason you've had your bracelet for three or four years and you start getting dry rot on the surgical on uh, the rubber band, uh, which can happen after a few years, uh, definitely just send them an email and they can definitely have you send that bracelet in and give you a new set and pop that in with no problems whatsoever. But if you enjoyed the test footage and you love digging into the components of this bracelet, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about does it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.